All right, how's everybody going? You know who it is, it's Ballet of Brand. Uh, tonight we got a little bit of a different evergreen video. Uh, what I wanna be talking about, and this isn't gonna be a super short video, but I wanna be talking about why it's important to be a hex staker if you're interested in hex and you're interested in earning passive income. So without further ado, let me just show you the first thing that I want to cover. All right, so I got it right here on the screen. And what we have here is what is the uh, website called apphex.win slash charts. And the reason that I say this is important because right now the average staker, uh, the average length staker is getting a 36.87% APY, annual percentage yield. And sometimes people hear that number and they get skeptical as they should. But the thing is, is uh, Hex has all of the receipts and the data to prove and back up what we are claiming and what we have said since the beginning. So we can take a look here, uh, up here at the top left. So first off, you can, you can also put in your Ethereum address, things like that. That was just a random address that I poked in to, uh, to test the system and, and kind of see how it functions. So you can look at your stakes, things like that. Um, it's got some cool data there. But uh, right here, so 9.873% staked. And what does that mean? So out of a big pie of say 100% of stakers, as you can see, only 9.87. And that is where we get the uh, major APY. So for things like big payday in uh, Hex's history, it was November 19th, uh, 2020. It was a, uh, a major event to get people into Hex and incentivize people to stake out far. Um, what I'm getting at is the system itself, the smart contract, that's all Hex is, right? It's just a smart contract that's immutable, it's audited, it has 100% uptime that currently lives on the Ethereum blockchain soon to uh, be forked over to the, uh, the main blockchain, which is gonna be pulsechain.com. But anyways, the, the thing that I'm getting at is if 100% of the stakers stake, then you get 3.69% uh, APY, right? That goes to the actual um, inflation rate that HEX has. So the inflation rate is 3.69%. Um, I think it's, yeah, 3.69% per year on total, total HEX. So including uh, the, the good accounted stakes, things like that. So as you can see right here, we've got 1 trillion shares is nearly worth $8,000. All that really means is that the share system in HEX is what gives you and allows you to uh, have a piece of the interest. So depending on how many shares you have, whether it's millions, billions, you know, 10, 10 shares, or many, many T uh, shares, then based on the payout per day of the staking percentage for the day prior, you'll get paid out based on the amount of shares that you have. So that's all it really is. You can't sell the shares. You can't do anything like that. It's just a accounting system to, uh, like I said, determine how much interest you're owed. The cool thing about the share system in Hex is that it is deflationary. And this is something that is really important because things that have a massive amount of inflation generally aren't the highest of value. I mean, just look at all of fiat currencies. But right now you can get a uh, hex for a, a decent price, right? 8,000, uh, sorry, one, one T-share for about $8,000. Well, the really cool thing that I've mentioned before, Richard's talked about this a couple of times too, but the design intention and the way that it's programmed in Hex is that the actual shares eventually are going to be worth more than each individual Hex. So one share is going to be worth more than one Hex in the future. Uh, as far as when that happens, nobody knows. Obviously, that's dependent on the rate of adoption. So as you can see, when you are staking, that is how you get a part of the inflation. And that is how you become 
um, you know, a passive income earner on a daily basis. The cool thing about this is some uh, some projects in crypto, right? They they have a uh, yield, right? Whether it's yield farming, whether it's uh, you know, there's companies like Celsius, things like that. But the problem with things like Celsius or some of these other uh, companies that are similar is not only have companies similar in the past been targeted by the SEC or been shut down, but it's also kind of a kind of like a, a security, maybe right, having the expectation of profit from the work of others. And the point that I'm getting at is that is centralization in crypto. When you have a middleman that you are getting the yield from, but in Hex, there is no middleman. There is no counterparty. It's literally just you, the the staker, the hexagon that is interacting with the web, with the website or the application. So whether it's staker.app or whether it is uh, go.hex.com, that is just you in the contract. And, you know, as long as you're keeping your seed phrase when, uh, when you set up your wallet initially, as long as you keep that secure, don't share it with anyone, then no one can have access to your funds. So I kind of go over a little bit of the, the shares right here. So what's, uh, what's really cool too, is I mentioned that the actual sh share system itself, uh, and there's documentation that I'll link in a, in a minute, but the actual share system is itself is mimicking compounding interest. And it, it also does so in an efficient way to where you're not having to pay a whole bunch of fees and the actual blockchain itself and the network that it's running on is more efficient, unlike uh, NFTs and things like this. So let me get back to it. So this is called the share rate, right? This is the amount of uh, hex that it costs um, today, right now, for you know until it gets updated. But it's the amount of hex that it costs for a uh, a T share. So you can see right now it's uh, one point eight six nine six one and pretty much you kind of just move the decimal over uh let's see what it comes down to is it's about uh let's see eighteen thousand six hundred and ninety six roughly a uh, hex for a, a t-share so that's kind of how that's equivocated and what we can see right here this was the beginning of hex right it was december 2nd 2019 that it launched and um you know, I'm pretty sure that was the bear market too, because Ethereum was like 80 to 130 bucks. But anyways, you can see that it started at one, which was uh, about 10,000 hex for a, a trillion shares. And then as you can see, hex is under two years old and the share rate itself is nearly doubled. And what we have right here are little scoops up, increments up. Uh, what that does is that mimics the compounding interest. So you can see that this is just constantly going up over time. Now, the reason that this is important and the reason that a lot of us hexagons, myself included, not only recommend a staking ladder so you're not um, tempted to sell early or to end stake, things like that, but the, the reason it's important is because this number, like I said, never goes down. And as say, say you had a three year stake, well, as that stake matures, this actual share rate is going to be significantly higher. And if we saw nearly a 2x in, in one year, or yeah, sorry about a, if we saw nearly a 2x in the, in the share rate in under two years is what I was referring to, then say if you had a three year stake, it, it might be worth uh, significantly higher to get the same amount of shares. So that's kind of how that works. Today is always the best day to stake. And that's why we say that because you're getting the most amount of shares for that hex that you're staking. That number can never go down and that is something that's audited in the smart contract. So let me scroll down a little bit and this is kind of the thing that inspired me to, to make this, right? Um, in hex, there's this thing called emergency end staking. So, sorry about that. Um, if you, let's see, if you do a stake and you make the commitment, well, then there's gonna be a penalty if you happen to renege or if you happen to have a regret all of a sudden. Now, the emergency end stake penalty only happens 
when this when the hex itself is locked in. So when you're in hex, there's a 24-hour clock, and uh, it's on UTC time. But if your if your stake is say pending and it's not actually set, it'll say in go.hex.com. If your stake is pending, then you can actually cancel it without any um, you know without any emergency end stake penalties. Uh, once again, as long as it wasn't set in, and in case you had any regret or you wanted to stake out longer or split it up, that is a, uh, a little Easter egg. But just make sure if you do that, not only are you going to pay a gas fee, but make sure it says pending because the website will tell you. Okay, so here's the next thing. And then I'll go over a few, a few more links that I want to cover. So this is, like I said, this is some of this is advanced. Some of this is more general. But it's very important because the system itself is continually working, 100% uptime, which hasn't existed in any software, let alone a cryptocurrency. But it's the opportunity of a lifetime, it really is. And for those that don't know, Bitcoin, it did 6.5 million times uh, return. And it actually did more than that because it used to be under a penny and the most recent high was $65,000. That's where you get that math. But Hex is designed to do the same thing. And it rewards you and incentivizes you to be a good citizen of the network by uh, giving you, you know, uh, mad gains and the, the APY that I mentioned earlier for the average staker that incentivizes people to continue staking, which, which when you're staking, you're burning the Hex and instead you're getting shares. And then vice versa, when you end your stake, when, when your stake ends, you need to manually end it, right? You've got two weeks to end it before uh, penalties pretty much start, which is 1% uh, for uh, each week. So you've got 100 weeks to end your stake after the two-week grace period. But so here's what I wanted to cover. This right here is the daily payout per T-share. So once again, T-share is just 1 trillion shares. It's all relative, right? Um, a B share is just a billion shares. So you would you would divide whatever the number was for the payout uh, by a thousand, right? Because that's how you get a billion to trillion. Anyway, so we can see that at the very beginning of Hex, the, the payout was rather, rather minuscule, right? Relative to what we're seeing now. And this just keeps going up. And as, as bigger bags end stake or get out of the pool, or if there's lesser of a percentage staking, then we're going to see this number go up, which is great because it always incentivizes people to, to be staking. And especially now, um, who knows how long the system itself is going to have this kind of low um, percentage of people staking, but that's why the opportunity is ripe and why it's important to take advantage of it while it's here. So if people emergency end stake, like I mentioned, they're gonna be penalized. And that's the penalty. You can go to staker.app and they do a really good job of uh, calculating what that emergency end stake uh, fee would be, what your um, amount of hex that you would get back after the fee is. But right here, we can see that someone had a very, very large amount of hex that they end staked. And a lot of times they're end staking to sell. So not only is it a benefit because they're end staking, you, the staker, that, you know, do what you said you would, you commit to the stake and you follow through. Um, not only do you get paid out, but the other person, they don't get their whole bag and the interest to completely dump on the market. So when things like this happen, it allows an opportunity for those people to leave, right? One man's trash is another person's treasure. Well, a lot of people, when the hex price has been dipping down or wicking down, they've been waiting for that opportunity and they take it as a perfect, you know, uh, buy time to, to get more. So anyways, we can see that there was over, let's see, over like 12.89 right here on this day, uh, October 11th. So how cool is that? And uh, we're, we're going close to uh, October next month. And what we can see is someone else, let's see, it was it was yesterday, right? As far as the way that the contract goes in UTC time. So for September 20th, the payout per trillion shares was 10.03 hex. 
And that is just absolutely amazing. Um, with today being a 5.73, you can kind of see that the, the average lately right here has been pretty consistent. So you can see this was kind of consistent ramping up and this was consistent. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show everyone. The next thing that I want to show you, like I mentioned, when it comes down to price, not only is price based off of supply and demand, but when you're staking hex, um, I mentioned that when you stake hex, you're burning the hex for the shares. That gets you the interest. And then when you end your stake and you choose to end it, then you're burning the shares, which are deflationary, and you're getting the hex and the interest and the principal if uh, you served your time and ended it on time, right? Uh, let me get into this other website right here too. So what I want to cover is the price. And the reason I want to do this is because Hex was designed to do 10,000 X return in, uh, let's see, in two and a half years. And, and Richard came up with that because Ethereum did the same thing. And so he said, hey, if Ethereum did two, uh, in two and a half years did 10,000 X, why can't Hex? Because Hex is a better designed product. It's complete, it's audited, 100% uptime and secure. And uh, same thing actually for pull chain, right? I've got this lovely, uh, this lovely uh, hoodie that, uh, that I've got that represents both Hex and Pulse Chain. And one thing that Richard's talked about with Pulse Chain, even though he doesn't give future expectations of profit from the work of others, which would deem such a thing as security, he, uh, he does say what is possible, right? You're allowed to say what is possible without being reprimanded or labeled a security. So anyways, we can see that we're at a 42 and a half cents. And this is really cool because it wasn't very long before we were actually uh, at a penny. And it was actually at the, um, the New Year's that we had hit two pennies. And uh, the, the point that I'm getting at is the trajectory of Hex when we kind of just zoom out and you know look at where the direction is pointed, where the trend is pointed. It's, uh, it's pointed up and to the right. That's a uh, kind of like a meme that we talk about in Hex that, hey, price goes up, right? That's the only thing that people really care about at the end of the day. And honestly, I would argue with almost any other investment too, right? Why are people um, buying houses to do um, passive income via renting it out or Airbnb, things like that? Why are people uh, continuing to buy stocks or you know, uh, traditional investments like bonds and certificates? Uh, it's because they want a return on their principal and because whether they realize it or not, um, they know that the, the dollar or whatever fiat currency is not going to gain them any value. And uh, at the end of the day, it's actually gonna go down in value as uh, time progresses because it keeps getting printed. So we can see that hex is projected up and to the right. This is just something that I drew today to show what the price is doing. Now, the cool thing about this and something that I wanna recommend to everyone um, as an OG hexagon and someone that was in crypto in early 2017, and literally every single day since since I got into crypto in March of 2017, I've been, that's the only thing I've done, right? I've been uh, daily um, arming myself with information, knowledge, educating myself about the space, other people. And what I've learned is when you're looking at charts, because it's just math, right? It's just saying, who bought, who sold, and, and what the value is currently. But what I like to do personally is zoom out on the chart right here, and then also go back on, on the time frame. right? Some people I see them looking at the minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, you know, sub one hour time intervals for the candles. And that's that's the, the trader mentality, which Hex is specifically designed to get rid of. Anyway, so we can see that each candle here is one month. So one, two, three, four, five, five months in a row, X has been positive price gains. We can see the, the month that we're on currently. Uh, we, uh, we hover over with this little crosshair and up in the top right, uh, right about here, you can see it's up 66.10%. Uh, so how great is that? Uh, you really can't get that kind of um, growth anywhere else. And you look at it over here, 105% uh, and then so on and so forth. So things like this too, 
this was uh, the big payday that I mentioned, right? A lot of people had used that as an opportunity to speculate and and uh, use it as a trade opportunity. Well, um, a lot of people right here, they dumped the price. I mean, you can see it was down 66% in a month, but that was because people were selling and speculating and that gave people an opportunity that cared about Hex, that understood Hex to really buy, buy the dip, right? They say buy the effing dip, all right? So that's really cool there. Let me go into the next part that I wanna talk about. All right, so let's, Let's paste this new thing. So, so I hope by now, like I mentioned, I don't have any time frame on this video. It could be up to an hour. Who knows? Uh, but I hope I hope you get something out of this. And uh, if nothing else, it's going to educate other people. So, really happy about that. I uh, just crossed three thousand subscribers, and uh, thank you to everyone that's watching. You right now, the person. Uh, I appreciate you watching, liking, sharing it and commenting because at the end of the day, what it does is it, it triggers the algorithm with the YouTube and other social medias. And that engagement uh, allows for other people to hear about Hex, to be educated, to hear from someone that's not a scammer and that's an OG and retired uh, thanks to Hex. And that's before, mind you, check this out, that's before when Pulse Chain comes out we're going to get a duplicate of our hex and our stakes. And uh, if you sacrifice, you're going to get pull chain as well in return. So this website is hexcalc.net. And I want to say shout out to uh, Axis Alive because the other day I was on stream and I was on go.hex.com where you can stake or you can do a staker app. But I was talking about the, uh, the, the staking and just certain things. And he said, Bran, go to this website and I had heard about it before, but honestly, there's just so much data and websites that this one I kind of forgot about. So I want to give access a, a shout out. So let's take a look here. So there's a cool little banner ad right here for uh, for Staker app. This is what I was talking about. That's the uh, phone application for Hex. It's free on uh, Google Play or Android. So we can see it's got some information, right? Today is uh, day 659. So how cool is that? 659 days with 100% uptime, with price appreciation. We already achieved our 10,000 X, which uh, we were supposed to do within two and a half years. And we did it in under two. So shout out to uh, Richard for designing a amazing system and shout out to all you hexagons that are delaying gratification, myself included, and uh, are helping make the price uh, grow and go up. Okay, so you see what day it is. And there's some other links right here too. I actually have never clicked on them. So that'll be good to explore in a different video. We're not going to do that in this one. I want to stay uh, focused. But uh, let me just click the refresh, right? Because especially when I'm presenting information, you want it to be consistent. Okay, so it's going to tell you what time it's updated, the price of Hex, the cost, pretty much all of the information that we just went over. Now, you can pretty much calculate the amount of interest that you would be earning based off of, I think it's a 5.8 uh, T-share uh, uh, per day average is what I remember reading when I looked at this website uh, previously. So let's just say we have one T-share, right? Let's do 18,696.1. And let me just show you that this is one t-shirt. We're just going to stake it for one day. Okay, I guess uh, I guess it doesn't want the decimal. Let me remove that. Okay. So as we can see right here, it says t-shares one, right? And it's got a little bit of information, I'm guessing, if you click on that. So I want to go over this because hex... It's not a certificate of deposit, but it's similar, right? And um, just like it's it's not Bitcoin 2.0, but it's similar. It's got a lot of different features, things like this. And the cool thing about Hex is in the traditional system, um, not only with CDs, but with a lot of other things, um, the, the penalties usually go to the bank or the corporation, things like that. 
But here in Hex, when people are, uh, they're not bad actors, but they don't abide by their word and they end stake early, well, you get a portion of that penalty, as I mentioned earlier, based on the shares. All right, so in, in Hex, for every uh, year up to 3,641 days, which is te uh, about 10 years, you get 20% more of the shares. And the reason that the reason that this is important is because I mentioned that the share is what determines how much interest and how big of a piece of the pie you have and are getting paid out daily for that length of time that you choose. And we can uh, we can do so. We can you know prove what I'm talking about by just putting in 365. As you can see, 1.2, right? And the maximum, as I mentioned as well. It's 3,641 days. So once again, it's about uh, 10 years. So you can see this is pretty much three uh, three T shares. And so you're getting a, a 3X in total on, uh, on everything. And the reason that that's so great is because you're delaying gratification, you're getting paid every single day, and you're being incentivized to treat the product how it was intended and in return, the system itself becomes um, more rare in the form of hex. It uh, proves to people that the system is being utilized how it should be. So we can see that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the the date, right? It'll say the start date and the maturity date. So once again, today is September 21st. Um, for 3,641 days, this would end on day uh, 4,301, which is September 10th. So that's really cool. And uh, it tells you the stake amount here. And it's just got a lot of other information, right? This longer pays better. What it's pretty much doing is it's, even though you have one T-share, it's calculating everything as if you have three. So that's really cool. You can see what the ROI and APY would be. So. I'm hoping that this is kind of getting through a little bit on, on why the shares are actually important because when we go into the other, uh, the other chart that I showed you, um, the, the price of HEX, right? It's gone up more than any other asset in the world um, since its inception, right? So for your 2020 and 2021. But the cool thing is the actual staking, the T-share chart, it's gone up more than the price of hex. And that's really cool because it shows you that that's ramping up very quickly. And it might seem like a small amount or maybe you're gonna sit on the fence and, and wait a couple weeks or a few months and, and all of a sudden, the amount of uh, shares that you're getting for your hex, that same amount of hex that was liquid is going to be less because that actual cost in uh, the cost of shares in HEX only goes up. So there's also kind of like a, a prudency and like an, an urgency of why someone that was going to stake would stake. So this is really cool. And, and here's the thing too, right? So you can see the, the T-share price, what the cost is. And this is just assuming, this is the price prediction, right? You can, you can change this to whatever number you want and it's going to change down here all of the numbers. Um, so for for one t-shirt, which is about $8,000 after 3,641 days, according to this website and the math, saying you'd have about $40,223. So that's great. That's a super good investment. But that's just if the price stayed the same. I don't think the price is going to stay the same. And if anything, uh, supply and demand tells us that the more demand and the less supply, then hey, the price goes up. We see this uh, everywhere, right? In uh, the grocery markets uh, and in other markets too. So just for fun, let's just say, in my opinion, this is this number is uh, is conservative, but let's just say from here in uh, in ten years, three thousand six hundred and forty one days, hex does uh, it goes up to a hundred dollars. All right. And like I said, I think that this number is conservative. When you look at what Bitcoin has done, when you understand that Hex is designed to outperform Bitcoin, and then also it's doing things that Bitcoin hasn't done. 
Uh, they, they talk about in Bitcoin institutional money and investors and it, it already kind of, it made its gains and then it, it never really took over the world, right? Like, uh, like some of the Bitcoiners had envisioned and the early cypherpunks had envisioned. Well, Hex is going to do that in my opinion because it's just designed better. It's got a community and at the end of the day, people want yield and they want results. And when we have a track record of results of community of people that are lifting each other up, then people eventually want to join the winning team and the winning side, whether they're in other cryptos, whether they're in no investment at all, and they just get magnetically attracted to the community or whether they're in their traditional system and they're tired of getting you know, 2%, 3% gains in the stock market and considering that a plus because crypto just completely outperforms any other asset in general um, in the world. All right, so like I mentioned, let's just say $100. And the cool thing here too, you can change it to whatever whatever currency you got. There's a lot here. So um, hopefully it applies to uh, your country and your region. So once again, same thing, one T-share and let's scroll down. So your, your initial investment today of $8,026 would be $9,376,179. And once again, that's based off of the 5.8 um, hex per t-share. And that's just the consistent number, right? Um, the thing is, is that could actually go up. Actually, we can see it down here. That's where I saw it last time. So 5.833 actually. Um, this number could actually go up and the reason i say why is because it's really the actual payout is is based off of how many people are staking well what happens at 10 years when people expire their their shares right they they realize profit they um they they mint their hex um, those shares become more valuable and more rare if this if this stake was actually 5,555 days, which is the max, then you're keeping this number of shares the whole time throughout that stake. So if you compare someone that ends on 3,641 versus 5,555, this person is not going to be able to. Sure, you're going to have a, a great profit, right? That's awesome. But you're going to expire what was the golden goose and. Um, with the amount of shares, like I mentioned, the amount of uh, hex that it costs for a share, in in 10 years, this is going to be so much higher. And the cost of hex is going to be so much higher, things like this, that it's going to be nearly impossible. I can almost guarantee that to ever buy back the initial amount that you had, say, today, right, compared to 10 years. So the people that are staking 5,555 days, they're going to make out like bandits because they're just holding on to their share rate. And even if you have, even if you're lucky to have, have one T-share, you're doing very, very well, um, especially if you hold on to it for this long. So I hope this kind of describes what the staking mechanism is in Hex. You know, it's like I mentioned, designed to earn you passive income and pays you out every single day. Now, once again, you can't realize that until you end the stake or emergency end the stake. And if you do emergency end the stake, just understand that uh, there's going to be a uh, cost and a payment for those actions of not doing what you said you would and not being a good citizen of the staking network. Um, the thing I also wanna say is we can see here the, the benefit and why it's lucrative to stake HEX. And uh, that's awesome, right? That's really cool. We're looking at the statistics of about 5.8 years, that number has just been going up. That's great, right? But when it comes to someone's portfolio, say they've they've got all hex, well, you don't have to stake all of it, right? Um, I think it's always smart and people like, I think like Dave Ramsey and some of these other people, traditional advisors or in investment people, they always talk about like saving, saving some money for a rainy day fund. And I think it's important to keep maybe a little bit of uh, hex, maybe a couple percent, whatever the number is, that's variable on uh, on your situation. But 
it might not be a bad idea to hold a little bit liquid so you're not tempted in case there was an emergency or so, so you're not forced to end stake something that is going to, you know, you know it's going to penalize you and it might, it might severely penalize you based on how much, uh, how many days you've served. So that's always important because even though you make mad gains in staking, we already did 10,000 X without staking. That was literally liquid. So that's really cool. Um, and, you, and you don't want to end stake early. So don't, uh, don't be tempted to uh, sell early. Uh, another thing that I talk about, and so, so do a lot of us hexagons, is uh, staking ladders, right? What is a staking ladder? We know that for 3,641 days or 5,555 days, anywhere in between, you, uh, you've maxed out the T-shares. Well, what a ladder does is it pretty much breaks down your staking into multiple different periods of time. So whether you've got, say, uh, a portion of, say you had $100,000 for an example. Well, instead of doing all of it for 5,555 days, maybe you want to have perpetual income or passive income once, once per year, right? You want some annual income. Well, you can do 15 different stakes and also for, for each year, 20% more share. So you're still going to be earning interest and you're still going to be getting more than what your principal shares were worth because you're you're staking out longer, and uh, and that's something that a lot of us talk about because if you're say you just have one stake that's a hundred thousand dollars for even three thousand six hundred and forty one days, well as hex continues to do many many thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of x as it's designed, you're going to be really tempted to emergency end stake because all you have is just one stake. You know, you, you bet the farm on that one stake and you had it so far out in time. Well, once again, as I mentioned, don't be uh, tempted to, to end stake early because you only have one stake or a couple of stakes. So kind of kind of think about this before you do. Um, it's something that's very individual. You get to choose the date, right? You get to choose whether you hold it liquid or whether you stake. And, uh, and when you do so on go.hex.com, it does have a calendar where you can choose the date that you want it to end. So that's awesome because for myself that has gifted people hex, a lot of people hex uh, in, in the family, right? And friends that uh, was doing so as like a Christmas gift, birthday gift. Well, guess what? I can have the hex and uh, I can have the stake end on their birthday or Christmas or anniversary, whatever, whatever special moment that uh, is significant to them. And so how cool is that? Because it's more, it's more passionate, right? And they, uh, they care about it as well. Because, hey, on, on their birthday or their anniversary, things like that, they can, uh, they can realize some gains and, uh, and have a good time with the extra income. Okay, so that's pretty much all I want to cover on this website. But once again, we're, uh, we're doing a little bit longer of a video and I didn't want to do a stream because I wanted to kind of just cover this information without being a little bit distracted from the chat. So I'll be doing the, uh, the next stream a little bit later, actually on Thursday. I haven't announced this yet, but Thursday I'll be doing a stream with, uh, his name is Brandon and, uh, it's rags to riches is his, uh, his YouTube channel. He's a hexagon and uh, I believe he's somewhat relatively new. But he's doing an amazing job and it's cool to see new people that not only the ogs right that myself that have been retired that are still streaming that goes to show you uh how cool the product is and how much people believe in it right some people just left but it's nice to see uh, newer people because it brings in a fresh perspective even if it's the same information or we're kind of just going over the same websites uh, everyone has different ways of, of conveying things and people also relate to everyone a little bit differently. Okay, so once again, that's all I'm gonna cover on this website. Let's go into the last website, right? Because I, I think it's really cool. And I think uh, it might've been Papa B, but someone had mentioned this the other day and whoever did, I wanna say shout out to them, but obviously I don't remember the name. Anyway, so some people 
they uh they just they just joined or they heard about hex but they don't know they uh right they don't know if it's a scam they don't know um if it's legitimate and you know good on them for being skeptical and, and wanting to do their due diligence and research well without uh you know dragging song too long we're gonna go to hexnoob.com and whoever made this website i don't know but whoever did thank you very much this website is absolutely amazing and it's really cool to have a resource when we talk about hex being the uh, top performing asset of 2020 and 2021 in the world which is true that's awesome but the cool thing about hex that really separates it from all of the other cryptocurrencies is all of this data is verifiable it's on chain we know that it's got three three audits right two security audits so you know it's secure and uh and one financial or one economic audit so you know that the the pump amenals and and the actual system itself does what it claims to the 20 percent more per uh per year with the shares things like that so it says uh right here under the the color gradient says please beware that there are a lot of phishing and scam websites. Always check any link you click on, uh, any link you click on the internet. That's very important. Um, you have that like Nigerian prince uh, scam, right? That uh, a lot of people have fallen for because they they fell into the social engineering. Um, don't don't fall into that social engineering. Understand from an OG, from someone that has made mistakes. From someone that's seen people make this mistake um, never give that seed phrase to anyone never make a digital copy of it um, treat it like it is that money and that is it is that key to that crypto because it is so that's uh, something i want to cover um, another thing as well if you're going to be uh, in the crypto and setting up wallets is instead of maybe writing it on paper, right? Because you don't want to do it digitally. So what what's the next step, right? Write it on paper. Uh, well, the thing is, is say say your house has a flood and it's not laminated, or it happens to get rinsed down in the flood, or there happens to be a fire, things like that, some catastrophe. Well, if it's on paper, it's very easy to get damaged. Uh, some people, shout out to Papa B, he um he kind of gave me this idea of engraving those seed phrases into something that's say fire resistant water resistant such as i believe titanium um, but you can you can look into his information that he's covered before to find out what specifically and i actually have it over there in the corner otherwise i'd show you but it's just a little piece of uh, titanium and you take an engraver put the words on it and then my recommendation would would not be to store the seed phrase at your house uh, maybe have it at a loved one's or in a lockbox or, you know, somewhere that's not uh, where you're sleeping at night. Because once again, that's just an attack vector and a vulnerability. And a lot of people didn't think that Hex was going to be worth a damn, right? They didn't, maybe it was $100 when, when they had bought it, but maybe that was on, say, January 5th. And now it's worth, who knows, $500,000, things like that. If you, just like with anything, when you're, when you're, pouring a foundation for a house. Well, you need to make sure that that foundation is strong. Otherwise, everything that you build uh, on top of that foundation will eventually collapse. And um, I say that because once you do your staking and once you set this up, it's it's locked. It's locked in the smart contract. And you wanna, you wanna do it right the first time as opposed to say five or six years down the road, you realize that that might be more of a easy way to be attacked or you know you just want it to be secure treat it like it's a, a million dollars even if it's only ten dollars or a hundred so anyways it shows you the main website and it shows you where to swap right so ethex.com this is a fork of uniswap um, and uniswap is the second completed project in in crypto and and in, in decentralized finance you hear that term DeFi all the time or staking all the time. Well, things like Hex, things like Uniswap, they're immutable, which is awesome. Because what it comes down to is it's the epitome of why crypto was designed. Crypto is a very slow, very expensive database, right? 
Uh, it's kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. And, and why is it so expensive as opposed to these other networks? Um, or like I mentioned, an Excel sheet. Well, it's because you want uh, immutability and it's supposed to be censorship resistant. And things like hex are censorship resistant, which uh, which is cool. So I said all that to say that ethex.com is something that you can swap on. That's really cool because you're not going to an exchange and you're not involving yourself with middlemen and, and counterparty and who knows what their their supply is and their order books. So ethex.com is cool. That's Uniswap version two. And uh, match it on XYZ. So I'm gonna do a video in the future. I don't wanna make this video too long, maybe like an hour is all I'll go. So in the future, we'll we'll go over this, but matcha.xyz allows you to do limit orders, both matcha and one inch.io. And the reason that you would wanna do a limit order, especially when you're selling, but when you're buying too, is because instead of you paying the, the spot market price, what you're doing is you're waiting for someone to sell and kind of fulfill your order. And what you're doing is you're becoming the liquidity as opposed to paying a fee and having slippage like uh, like you would with the market sell or market buy. And it's also just something to be a good citizen of the network, right? When um, when you're selling and you market sell, well, maybe, maybe you still have some hex and you happen to dump the price. Um, if you want that other hex that you didn't sell to go up in the future, then it makes sense to do the limit orders and not be pushing the price downwards to let someone else get a good deal. You want to be selling at whatever that spot rate is. And if you're doing a limit order, it's going to fulfill without any, uh, without any fees. The other thing too is there's a risk to everything, right? Um, sometimes with the limit order, the, the order might not fill because we've seen with Hex that the, the price has these sporadic movements and especially with 10,000 X in under two years, uh, sometimes the price can, can move past you. So uh, keep that in mind when you are placing bids and when you're placing sells. All right, so it shows you where to stake. Go to hex.com. That's the main that's the uh, the main contract and the uh, the website. And then uh, staker.app, that's something that one of the developers, um, he, he used to be a developer, like a senior lead engineer uh, for Google. He uh, he quit his job, and him and another person, uh, Firebun. So Steph and Firebun, they created this, um, which is Staker.app, and it's it's great. It's uh, it's super simple too. You've got all the data on there, and it's it's really elegant, really cool design. Uh, so the other thing is too is as I mentioned, we've got all of the data. We've got a great community. People like myself are are making videos uh, at midnight, uh, trying to educate people and educate the, the people watching right now. Um, and it's important because you wanna, like I mentioned, arm yourself with the information and educate yourself because a lot of the people that called it a scam, some of them were malicious. And a lot of those people are that say our content creators are behind the camera and projecting. But uh, sometimes it just comes out of ignorance and maybe they heard something and they thought it was true, but they, they didn't dig deeper. Um, they just looked at like the surface level. Anyway, so you can see apex.win slash charts. That was the first website that I went over. Hex, uh, hexinfo.io, hex.vision, hexdailystats.com. We're gonna take a look at hexdailystats.com because it actually is very um, applicable to the staking. And once again, why it's important to be a staker. And I know I cover a lot in this video. Maybe I can do some clips that are a little bit separate but um, it's important, right? It's definitely important. And this website you'll see in just a few minutes uh, kind of shows you the liquidity and shows you the the past uh, the past history. And it documents all of it in a very elegant uh, Excel spreadsheet that's publicly available. So hexgraphs.com, look into hex.com. Shout out to Gerardo. Him and myself are gonna be doing a live stream somewhat soon, hopefully. And um, at least it's on the books, right? We've got it planned to uh, to do a stream. Now we just need to pick a date and time. Um, so anyways, you can see the, the staking, right? That calculator. And then this is also recommended wallets. So Staker app was one of them. 
MetaMask is another one. And with, especially with Pulse Chain, it's going to require the wallet that you're on to be multi-chain compatible because you're going from Hex on Ethereum, which is just a smart contract, to now Pulse Chain. Well, maybe the wallet that you sacrificed from or that you have your Hex on, maybe it's not compatible with multiple chains. And then you kind of have to do something else or they would have to develop a front end to allow you to be able to do that. So better better start off right on the uh, the first place as opposed to trying to then find the solution. Uh, so anyways, metamath.io, staker.app. So that's pretty much it as far as this goes. Uh, the ranking website itself, very important. Don't use CoinMarketCap. They, uh, they literally, they, uh, they're hypocrites, right? They claim to be honest and trustless and uh, use the data from the blockchain, but they actually provably manually gatekeep and manually downrank uh, things like hex and we see that because hex is 201 on uh, coinmarketcap.com the actual information itself is not accurate as well and we know that because you can verify on the blockchain which is what etherscan.io is it's a blockchain explorer for the ethereum network anyway so nomics.com is great uh, i'm not going to go over very much uh, else in this website because i want to be under an hour in this video but um, the documentation, right? So you've got the smart contract um, that I mentioned, and that's audited. Well, where's the audits? How do we know that it's legitimate? How do we know that those people aren't just uh, writing it off or doing a sloppy job, and uh, and maybe they missed a mistake? So you can see the uh, the audits independently here. This is the layman's layman's guide that uh, developer Kyle, who's actually the one that created the share rate system in Hex. But he wrote a little layman's guide on, on how it works, the staking, all of that. Um, you have an audit of the origin address. And that's cool, too, because just like in uh, a lot of other successful business adventures, whether it's Amazon, Facebook, Google, Apple, um, sometimes you have a lot of uh, big benevolent whales that uh, own a majority of the shares and the supply. And the reason that that's important, just like with diamonds, is because if they don't need to sell and realize that supply on the market, then there's a finite amount of supply or a limited amount of supply. And if the demand is high, then it's going to go up. And then those people get to have the you know, glory of a top performing asset. Uh, Telegram, it's important as a hexagon to be a part of the community, uh, especially if you're staked. You can, you can participate with people that are like-minded and that are really knowledgeable in a lot of things besides Hex. So that's pretty cool. You've got all of these different Telegram groups that you can click on. These are all hyperlinked, right? And um, I guess t.me slash Hexponential. I've never, uh, never seen that one, so not too sure what that one is. Now, I'm not sure if there was one last... Oh, yeah, there was one last thing. Let me, let me show everyone... One last thing here, which is uh, hexdailystats.com. Once again, this video is going to be under an hour. Uh, thank you to everyone that is watching this. And um, if you have someone that's maybe newer in Hex, yeah. feel free feel free to check this out. You can also go to hex.com slash scam. And that's a really good resource for people that think it's a Ponzi, that think it's a pyramid scheme, that... Uh, call it a bubble or all of these different, you know, uh, arguments or things that they're, um, you know, that they're not agreeing with, you can, uh, you can educate them with proper information and uh, hex.com slash scam is really good for that. So once again, Hex Daily Stats, let's, uh, let's see, I guess it's maybe, maybe, uh, maybe loading a little bit. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, I guess we're, I guess we're not going to show it. I guess we're not going to show it. So they're, uh, oh, okay, cool. It loads. What do you know? I was just about to give up anyways. All right. So it shows you the time in UTC, shows all this other cool stuff. And this is important, right? Because it shows you what the liquidity is. And the reason that that's important is because now you know how much is uh, available to be bought into or sold into. And um, what Richard calls it is the minimum viable liquidity. If you 
if you have someone selling or you have someone buying, you want them to push the price against themselves so they can't get the ultimate deal for just dumping the market. So it, it's set for the minimum viable liquidity. We've got a lot of people that have been selling millions of dollars worth of hex and they've got the liquidity. So people that try to use that argument, it's uh, it's null and void, All right? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just cover this for a couple of minutes and we're gonna end the video. Uh, thanks for everyone that's been watching this long. And um, also if you ever wanna contact me, contact me on Telegram. Um, don't do it on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Uh, Telegram is just so much easier. And sometimes it just gets too overwhelming when it's all these different uh, platforms. So Telegram, my, uh, my link's right here at the bottom where the little banner is, this whole video. All right, so once again, you can see all of the Hex's history and, and the data. And the reason that that's cool is because you can just go back and see, hey, what was the price of Hex on, on day 33? And uh, we can actually, we can actually do that just for just for the fun of it, right? Because that was the best day to buy in Hex, which was January 5th, which was uh, day 33, right? So it says January 4th. I thought it was January 5th, but anyway, so what we're going to do is day 33, you can see that, um, you know, you can just see what this data is and you can go back and see, hey, what was the liquidity? What was the total value lock? Things like that. Uh, it used to be, I think it was like 1.8 million uh, hex is what you would get for uh, for an Ethereum at the time, and that was January 5th, 2020, and the uh, the cost of Ethereum was pretty low too. So you can just see some of Hex's history if you, like I said, haven't been a part of it. You can understand that hey, Hex had been pumping, and that was with all of this liquidity, and so that's why uh, whoever was supplying the liquidity, they uh, they lowered it. And you can see even even lately, it's just been getting uh, lower and lower when you compare it even to, uh, say, say right here. So say, um, you know, day 629, you can see 86 million versus right now, which is which is lower. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the participation. Hope you like these uh, little, you know, LEDs in the back, the Hex, the Saturn. Um, Hex is going to Saturn, right? People uh, say in, in uh, finance or in crypto, oh, to the moon, to the moon, right? Um, well, the moon's not very far away relative to some of the other places and planets. Um, so we always say, uh, hey, Hex is going to Saturn. Um, Saturn, and that's why I got the little lamp back there, but got a big giant hexagon on the North Pole. And uh, hey, just free advertising for uh for hex so how cool is that it's uh it's pretty much a black hole uh for financial capital and right now you're in before a dollar if you're getting in right now and um even if you get in right now as well you're going to get a guaranteed copy on the pulse chain network when that's launched my guess maybe is hopefully by the end of the year i would think that the pulse chain network would be launched and once again where else can you get free money besides crypto and get airdrops and things like that? It only happens in crypto. Uh, it doesn't just grow on trees, things like that. All right. So that's once again, the video. Hope everyone liked it. And if you have any questions, please do ask them in the comments because this is a long video. And um, once again, if you ever have people that are that are skeptical and you're having a, a hard time trying to onboard them, Direct them to someone that that does have the experience. You know, some of the OGs. Tell the person that's skeptical to watch an OGs video or go to hex.com slash scam or get them to the right information because a lot of the time hex really does sell itself. And maybe maybe you're missing the the one key component that that really seals the deal in that presentation. And that's just what it comes down to. At the end of the day, it's all about the repetition. The knowledge, which is why a lot of us have been in the system uh, daily, just educating ourselves. There's always something to uh, to learn and maybe a better way to say things. So that's all I have. Uh, once again, this is the top performing asset of 2020, 2021, and it's designed to be the top performing asset in the world. And um, you know, continue continue having its success, continue doing uh, 
what Bitcoin did, which was the 6.5 million times in return. And that's before the staking. So once again, thank you, everyone. I'll see you on the next.